All right, so got some stuff in today. We're gonna be trying out a new belt drive. So I ordered a kit for the stock motor, which is a 12 tooth pinion, 30 tooth spur. And we're gonna see if we can figure out how to put this thing together. So the kit come with 30 tooth spur, new shaft, a couple set screws in there. Got a 12 tooth pinion gear with a set, couple set screws in there. And I got, comes with a belt drive. I went ahead and a belt. I went ahead and ordered a second belt just to have a spare on hand. Comes with the uh, hardware kit. And we also have the shim kit for the stock motor. So we're gonna be figuring all this out as we go along it came with nothing else and i couldn't find any videos online of anybody showing how to install this thing so here you go this is what we're gonna do so let's get old boy up here it's so the first thing we're gonna do get the old gear cover off this thing. Yes, I know I got a busted center brace. Seem to always break it in that same spot. And we're gonna... I got parts on the way to replace that this week as well. loose that is one good thing about that piece being missing out of that center brace get that cover off pretty dang easy so let's go ahead and pull the spur now i'm currently running the 2050 gear I usually run 1846, but nobody had one when I went looking for a gear, so I switched up to the 2050. Kind of like the 2050 a little bit better, as it gives me a little more room to set the mesh in here. Of course, I do use the, the pin system. Wiggle this thing out of here. Get this cover off. Maybe I can get this cover off. Come on. Come on. You can pull this without pulling the motor. Just be careful because that bearing will slide off the back. Alright, so we're going to work on this part of it first. So let's set this down on the ground here. Let's get in here and see what we've got. Let's open her up. All right, so we've got a spur and we've got a shaft, okay? Now we know this is gonna go back here, okay? And we know this gear is gonna go in the same spot. It's gonna go in like that, it's gonna go in like that, slide like that, and that bearing's gonna fit on there. That part we know. Now, I could pull all this apart and get that bearing off of there, but you know what? I got spares. So, we're going to put this in here just like this. Now, where these holes are, 
So you got one there for the set screw and one there for the set screw. And you've got one flat spot on the shaft. So we're gonna set the gear up on there like so. And we're gonna take this set screw here It's not a 2.5. It is a 2.0. Okay. Now, from looking at this, it looks like this set screw should go down here and catch this hole right here in this flat spot. And that should tell you that you've got it centered on the spot, right? So that's what I'm going to try to do. Is line that up like so. And I am going to put a little bit of Loctite on it. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one in here. But now I'm looking at this again and I have two flat spots. So what I want to do is line it up to where this one catches this flat spot and this one catches the hole in the gear. I can't really see down in there. And that fell right through. So there's already an issue right here. Because that does not screw in. So we're going to stop right there because I may have gotten a bad gear here or a bad set of pins or something. So we're going to stop it right there. All right, so we're back. This is what I found out. This package had the 12 tooth pinion in it. In this package, it has a bigger set screw. The bigger set screw doesn't work in the 12 tooth pinion. It works in the 32 spur. The little ones, set screws that were in the package with the spur, actually work in the pinion. So, let's try this again. Okay. So, just a little bit, not quite flush, just a little bit before it's flush is where it's going to hit that hole. We'll screw this down in there. Okay. Get it good and tight. I'll do the same thing with this one. Yep. So I got that good and tight. 
All right, so now this should go back in there. And it looks like it may have moved that shaft back some, but we will see. Okay, so now we'll put our pin back in. Put our gear back on. Put the bearing in it. Set this off to the side. Set this off to the side. Now I know before I set this back in place, I got to get that motor out of there. So let's get the motor out. I'm going to go ahead and take that pinion off that motor as well. Right now, let's just get the motor up out of the way. Something tells me this piece here may have to come off as well. But let's find out. Well, most definitely, that's got to come out. Okay. Come on, baby. Just wiggle it and pull it off there. Okay. Hey, look, you can see the drive shaft, the center shaft. All right. Set this sucker down in there. And once again, be careful with your bearings. They've got to fit in a certain spot. We go to the back bearing. Alright, so I can already tell that I've got a problem here. Because this is not going to fit like this. Okay. shaft too long so what we're gonna do so we're gonna say okay we don't need to line up that hole we're gonna loosen this up okay and we're gonna slide this back some more on that shaft. Now, all right, so now it fits in there. Okay, so at this point, what I'm gonna do is put the 
cover back on the gears because I got a feeling we're going to be spacing that shaft on its own here in just a little bit. So let's get this in there. Push it down. Got those two. So my thinking is that shaft needs to come out just a little bit more. Dang, that was probably loud. seeing this and not as much of my head oh come on that's twice all right you're going to see my head So what I do when I do this is I get that one started, I get those two started, and then I get these started. And then I kind of tighten them in a cross pattern here. motor you've got a spacer here all right all right now i'm gonna assume well i ain't assuming crap that's flat that's got to go down there's also a notch here right so that notch it fits right there and it just sets down inside the chassis just like that right okay now oh well okay don't make this stupid mistake make sure you get in there and pull your chassis your pins out first because you don't need the pins with this all right, let me get All right, there is a set of pliers. curious of something though is this gonna fit with that big old honking gear huh I'll be dang it fit I don't know if it's gonna fit when it's all back together but it fits right now all right so this goes in here and it gets pushed down in there where it's flush right and the notch fits up against it and it just fits down in there flush like that okay so now that that's in place you set the motor and you set the belt okay now my question is in this belt kit good gosh that's not coming out of there 
All right, we'll do it this way. In this kit, they give you eight bolts. They give you four that are short. Like that. And they give you four that are long. Okay. Be the long bolts, right? So let's put the long bolts together. Get a belt out. All right, now did I mess up by putting this gear on here already? Probably, but I want to see if I can change the belt without pulling that gear with the gear in place. And I can tell you I probably could, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt. So we're gonna take the gear back out. There is no flat spots on this shaft. So, well, I'm sorry, there is a flat spot on this shaft. What I'm gonna do here, we already put some Loctite on that one. All right, for some reason the battery on the GoPro died there. So what I did was I put some Loctite on the two screws Stuck one of the screws down to where I can barely see it starting to come out there, right? So now what I'm going to do is pull it up. And the reason I did that is I want to be able to feel that catch the shaft there, okay? So now I've got that part. Okay, so this is what I did. Took screws back out, took the belt loose, put two of the screws back in the motor mount where it's going to sit, lined up the, the pulleys, tightened the, both of them down, took the screws back out, tilted the motor up, and had to roll the belt into place. So this is where we're at now. Okay? So now we're going to attempt to put all the screws back in the bottom and see if we can adjust this bolt or this belt. At this point, I'm just starting these. So that I can see what we can do about adjusting this belt. 
Okay. Because to me, even when I tighten this down, that belt's way too dang loose. So my guess is, you've got to slide this as far over in the, as far over as you can get it. And that's going to be the issue, is how are you going to slide this thing? Because the back's sliding, but the front ain't. And my guess is the front ain't sliding because of the way the holes are. And you don't want to do it that way. You don't want to wiggle around this fan either because you'll screw up your... All right, so let's flip it over and take a look. I got that tight enough. So if I'm right, what I want to do is slide everything this way, right? And the problem is those don't want to slide. Okay. So, and that just popped them all over past whatever issues they were having. So now, let's turn it back over. I mean, that feels better, but to me it's still, I don't know how we can do this. All right, let's turn it over. Okay. So if my guess is right, this needs to be as far over as it can possibly go. Okay, and this one, same way, far over as it'll go. as far over as they're going to go with those washers on there. Okay, let's check the belt tension now. She's installed. The pulleys are aligned. I've got It's going to be a lot quieter but i still don't know that i've got this belt adjusted right i mean it just to me seems like it's got an awful lot to play in it all right so that's all for tonight i have emailed or messaged ARC to see if there's any specs on the tightness of this thing. See if they can give me any hints on uh, how to install it. Uh, I will say this. With the spacer underneath it, motor sitting up a lot higher. The stock cover will not fit back on the back of there. Um, which I don't like. Now I know there's people on eBay that sell the uh, modified covers to fit these things. But. It's not what I was after. But if it works, hey, I'll be cool. Because like I said, it's really going to be quiet now. So let me get you all from here. If I hear back from the, the company, I will get back on and do a follow-up on this. And then I'm going to do some run with it. We'll do some testing. We'll add that in here. And I'll give you my final thoughts when all that's done. Alright, so here's what looks like all finished. 
I've already been out running around in the yard a couple times. A couple things that you want to do. You want to make sure you get these pulleys square. And by square, I mean, basically you want to make sure this motor's not in here twisted any kind of way. Let's see if I can show y'all and get a good picture of the tension on the belt. So that's about how much tension I have on the belt. Uh, it doesn't slip. It still rolls pretty freely. And I had a question about the tension. And let me tell you. ARC's customer service, man. When I stopped filming the first part of this, the install part, I was having some questions about tensioning, and I wasn't sure what set the tensioning on this thing to. But, <clears throat> let me tell you. Um, I got on Facebook on the XMAX owner's page, and I put up a post asking anybody if they knew about how much tension this belt was supposed to have in it. And... This was at 10 o'clock at night, central time. And next thing I know, um, I'm getting a private message from the owner of ARC Hobbies asking me how he can help me at 10 o'clock at night to get this resolved. To me, Jeff Sampson and crew, that, that is ultimate customer service. And I've talked to him several times over the last couple of days as we've been checking things out, making sure I was doing things the way it's supposed to be done. So, all I can say for now is, I like it. It's really quiet, runs really well. So, hopefully, we're supposed to get some rain this weekend. So I don't know if I'm going to get any bashing time on it. But once I get some bashing on it, then I will add that to this and um, add some clips into this and give you my final thoughts on all of it. So I'll see you again soon.